I made a video uh, titled Multiplying and Dividing Decimals Without a Calculator and this is one of, uh, one of the questions that I got from one of the students which was interesting. He asked, okay, so how would I do 400 divided by 2.24? His question is 400 divided by 2.24. Now, uh, when you're dividing by decimals, uh, what I actually wanted to say is using calculator is fine because when you let me show how you can use a cal the answer here that you get is very interesting so it's a recurring number so it's 400 divided by 2.24 2.24 gives you 178.571428 then again can you say it's 571428 571428 so I will write the answer first. It's 571428 recurring. Okay, so it's 178.571428 recurring. So if you put a recurring a dot on these two uh, numbers, that means this is recurring. So let me show that number again. 571428 and it keeps going on so I want to go deeper into this question so I'll show you how you can write this as a fraction and then how can you change that fraction into this okay or how can you change this recurring number into fraction okay hopefully so let's start with this question how will I do 400 divided by 2.24 so well I want to make the denominator this decimal into a tidy number so I'm going to multiply this by 100 so if I multiply this by 100 I'd also multiply this by 100 so this is 40,000 four zeros that is 40,000 divided by 224 so I'm not using a calculator, so I'm going to halve it. So if you halve the numerator, you have to halve the denominator. So this is 20,000. 20,000 divided by, if you halve this, this is 112. Okay, then again halve it, so this is 10,000. Divided by, this is half of 100 is. Uh, 100 is 50 and then half of 12 is 6 so this is 56 again I'm going to halve it so this is 5000 half of uh, half of 50 is 25 and half of 6 is 3 so 25 plus 3 is 28 then again halve it which is 2500 divided by 14 and this is 1250 divided by 7. So from here you can do the long division. I'm going to show you how to do the long division logically. Okay, so there are different ways of doing long division. So this is 1250 divided by 7. So yeah, this one is in the thousands place. I'm writing place value. So this is thousand then you got 100, 2 is in the hundreds place, 5 is in the tens place, and 0 is in the ones place. So, 7 goes, 7 goes in 1, means 7 goes in 1000. So if you, how many times? So it doesn't go in thousands. So 7, if you write a number here, that'll be 7000, that'll be too big. So now you're writing a number which is in the hundreds place. So 1, if you write one there, it is 100. So, so if you, so seven goes in uh, 1,250. How many thousand? Zero thousand. Okay. So now, seven goes in 1,250. How many hundreds? Well, it goes in 100. So this is 100. So seven times 100 is 700. Okay. So this is very logical. 1 is in the hundreds place and that's why I wrote 700 then you have to take away so you have 1250 take away 
700 which is this is 50 and this is 550 okay now 7 goes in 550 how many tens well it goes in 7 tens so this this 7 is in the tens place so 7 times 70 this is 7 times 100 is 700 this is in the tens place so this is 70 so 7 times 70 is 490 okay so now you'd again take away so this is 0 this is 15 so this is 60 okay so 490 plus 60 is 550 now 7 goes in so let me scroll this slightly up so 7 goes in 60 how many ones so well it goes 8 ones so 7 this is in the ones place so this is 56 and the remainder is 4 so the answer in a fractional form is 178 whole it goes 178 times and this is the remainder this is the remainder and 4 7th is the answer exact answer in in a fractional form and I will show you 4 7th so this actually means 178 plus 4 7th and 4 7th is in fact this recurring number 5814 571428 so let me show you that if you go oops so let me cancel this if you go 4 divided by 7 is 571428 can you see 571428 so along with this let me show you how you can write uh, how can you convert this into 4 7 okay so this is slightly higher those are learning a bit of algebra will understand the next step okay so let me write suppose I'm saying let X be uh, 0 0.571428 isn't it that's recurring 571428 and it goes on 571428 and so on it goes on and on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to so this is uh, one two three four five six so I'm going to multiply this this I'm going to multiply by uh, 10,000 has mm, so six zero so i'm going to multiply this by one million so this is one million has got how many zeros if you multiply this if you make this one million x this is one million x i'm multiplying this by one million or 10 raised to six so if you multiply this by 10 raised to six what will happen so this will become five seven one four two eight point five seven one four two eight and this will also go on to infinity okay so now what is x so let me write x here so x is zero point five seven one four two eight recurring this you will understand only if you have done bit of algebra so I'm going to take away so this is 1 million take away 1x okay 1 million so let me show this on the calculator so let me 1 million has got how many zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 take away 1 will give you how much how many nines that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so that is nine 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 x that is nine hundred and nine nine hundred and nine thousand nine hundred <laughs> so this is how many uh, this is one less than one million okay that is equal to five seven one four two eight okay this minus this this decimal will disappear so dividing both by this so this will be five seven 
one four two eight divided by nine thousand okay so this is one less than one million okay so this is so let me show this uh, let me use a graphic calculator so let me show you this is four seven so menu run so five seven one four two eight abc nine 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 equal four seventh okay so let me show you that clearly so this is four seventh and this are one and the same so this is equal to four seventh four out of seven now what i actually wanted to uh, show in this video is that there's nothing wrong in using a calculator but you should understand that there are there are, you can get to an approximate answer without using a calculator okay so this is in fact more exact than this okay mathematically this is more exact than this but if you write this as a recurring number that's fine okay so if you suppose if you write 178.5 it's less exact than this or six if you want to write round this in one dp this is in one dp this is fine but if you want a more exact answer the exact answer is 178 and 4 seventh and 4 seventh is a recurring number which is 571428